What's good, YouTube? And welcome to Pengod Trip Gaming. Let's go. Pengod versus House of Champs in a battle of pendulums versus a crazy backer deck. Let's see who's gonna win. If you're ready for this video, smash the subscribe button. Check out the beautiful Trip Gaming playbook on tripgaming.com. Sign up for the beautiful Trip Gaming membership. And without further ado, let's go. What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. Yo, it's a Pengon versus House of Champs. Let's go. This is going to be a huge, amazing match. And for those Yu-Gi-Oh lovers out there, this is going to be one for the ages, guys. I'm telling you guys right now, arguably the greatest comeback I've ever seen in my life. I still can't believe it. With that being said, if you're ready for the video, smash that subscribe button. My beard is coming back. Let's go. Let's go. What you guys got in the comments, let me know. And let's get started. This is going to be an amazing match. It's going to be obviously me playing Pendulums versus John playing a uh, super back row deck. Look at these sets. Look at these sets. All right. So we're going to get started. Uh, he's going to go first. Uh, I just see a set four. I'm like, I am scared. He's going to keep, say, one trap trick in hand. He has these four. And he's super scared now. He knows... He preemptively uses trap trick. He knows after he should have uh, saved it after, but he 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 knows that Sanctum just absolutely shuts decks down. So he's like, you know what? I'm mean, just gonna do this and let you let you do your thing. You're not gonna be able to play off a of scythe. He realized later that he definitely made a mistake there. Should have waited, but uh, we'll see how this deck goes. Artifact Sanctum. So a lot of people say uh, Sanctum scythe is game. Pendulum loses. One Sanctum you lose. Blah blah blah. And Sanctum's also the same thing as the Buster Blade card, which says that you cannot special summon from your extra deck. I'm gonna show you guys right now that you really don't need to special summon from your extra deck. When you have arguably the best going second card in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, Mighty Master of Mag Magic. It's all good. What do you need to special from your extra deck for? So we have one game plan here and that's the kill. So we're gonna attempt here to OTK. Uh, we, I did not use Reflection Effect because I want Jack up to gain counters. I know I could have bounced it anyways. So what I should have done there was use Reflection to bounce the Scythe, to put the counters on the Scythe. Uh, sorry, on the reflection, but at the beginning, but it's only 1 1. And I'd rather Jackal stay on board to get kinds from the scales and the institution to be able to search and eventually use the Mighty Master Effect. I use Mighty Master Effect here to blow up the whole board because there's no reason to even add cards back to that because I knew Mighty Master will blow everything up. Uh, triggering is waking the dragon, unfortunately. He can't activate any more traps because of Sanctum. Uh, sorry, because of Trap Trick, but he'll attempt to uh, use the effect of Waking Dragon in Graveyard. Uh, Mighty Master will negate it. Uh, and then I'll just activate scales, use institution effect to add another jackal, pendulum summon, attack for game. So game one, no need for the extra deck, we win. He did uh, do a little mishap there by uh, using the sanctum too early, but at the end of the day, pendulum plus deck doesn't matter. If he activated the solemn judgment first, he would just be at 4,000 life points and it would just literally make my job even easier. And so he would solemn first 4,000 and then eventually use a sanctum after the solemn judgment. But that it's not enough. I would OTK you 1,000% if you were at 4,000 life points and I had that hand. With that hand, I don't even extra deck. Uh, now, his hand here, he has Ignition Trap Trick. Look at this. Order Extravagant Sanctum. It's about to get even worse because Extravagant is going to get him the most, my most hated card in Yu-Gi-Oh. I bluff an Ash Blossom there. Anti-Fragrance. He has Anti-Spell Fragrance. Sa two Sanctums. An Order and a Trap Trick. This is literally is arguably the best hand against Pendulum and Yu-Gi-Oh! History. And Imperial Order, Anti-Spell, Sanctum, Sanctum, Trap Trick. How do I play? It is literally impossible. So he's gonna go draw phase, Anti-Spell. I'm just like, oh my God, look at my hand. That's very unfortunate for me, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna attack little by little. That's totally fine. I'm gonna set all my spells. And then activate Sanctum. I'm like, oh, I can't even attack for 500. That's fine, whatever. Cry phase, uh, set four. Go ahead, bro. Then he activates Ignition, gets rid of one of my cards. Unfortunately, the only one I wanted because uh, the play against Anti-Spell is you use Mastery to get Servant. Then you go Servant, Crash, Servant goes in Scale, and you activate three spells that you set. And then Servant would get the counters automatically. Uh, and then uses this effect to get rid of the Anti-Spell. He sets a Scythe, you use Scythe here to attack Blue Boy. I take a lot of damage. You have the option there to go Souls. Uh, so I could have gone Blue Boy, Souls, Nightmare Phoenix to get rid of the Anti-Spell, but you never do that against 5 back row. Like, if I just go Phoenix, he's going to strike. So it, 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 that would be the stupidest play of all time. Unfortunately, he didn't have a strike, so that would have been my best play. 
my best but would have gone blue boy souls but in retrospect you don't know his hand uh he, i got striked there i literally lost so i would rather just wait wait it out i i have a lightning storm set and i'm just gonna blow up the boards and on my turn i'm like okay lightning storm but i'm like wait a second here's your out oh, lightning storm last turn i saw solemn judgment there's no way in hell he sets five cards he set five past there's no way that there's no solemn judgment there because my evenly match would get negated. So I'm trying to big brain play him and I'm like, okay, if he solemn judgments, my lightning storm, I lose. So I'm going to try and tribute someone to Jackal here. So what I'm going to do is I drop a turn, I draw Jackal. So I'm like, okay, I see a line of play here where I win. My line of play is I summon souls, I tribute summon Jackal, and I attack. A trap deck can't clear a Jackal. A Jack you guys would be surprised. If, I, if this resolves, I win. If I special souls, tribute jackal, attack, I win. He can't do anything. Like all the, well, he can't solemn strike. He'll have to solemn judgment the jackal. So I'm like, I saw solemn judgment last game. There's no way he's going to set five without protection of evenly. So he have to solemn judgment the jackal, in which I big brain lightning storm the rest of the field. So first I'm going to upstart goblin. Well, he sanctums. Yeah, so he sanctums again, so he can't. Uh, I can't tell him from extra deck. Uh, I'm going to uh, use souls effect. So I don't draw into that. Uh, I don't want to draw into that. I should have upstart first. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, but whatever. Uh, oh, sorry, I know why. I want I wanted Jackal to get counters. So I tribute the Jackal. I wanted Jackal to get counters now in case he has like some monster effect to destroy this, a moral attack, I don't know. And then I use secrets and eat Imperial Orders. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I was hoping you would solve Judgment the Jackal, but very unfortunate. At least it gets counters. I just want Jackal to get counters. And now, oh, it doesn't really resolve. So I'm like, okay, it's very unfortunate. Let's see, uh, whatever. Enter battle phase. He goes trap trick. I'm like, I'm honestly, I'm like, whatever. At least I have a jackal on board. I'm, I survive. It passes judgment. And that's when he realizes that he has no out to jackal. This is how you beat trap decks. By jack, he has no out in his entire deck to jackal king. Yes, I have no spells. Yes, anti spell and imperial order. Stop my entire deck. I can't play. But his deck has no out to jackal king. There's no out. He sided poorly. Uh, to not have an out for it, so it's like he sided out the Namiscus or Canadia or whatever it is. I don't even know what deck he's playing at this point. And he scoops, realizing that there's no main deck out to a Jackal King, providing the greatest comeback of all time here. Jackal King destroys anti spell pre order, dimension barrier, all this hate for Pendulum, but unfortunately for him, no out to a Jackal King. So when you guys face this, when you guys face anti spell order and start dying. All you do is special souls. Souls helps you clear this stuff so easily. Tribute Jackal. What's the deck doing to that? Uh, if they have all that set up. If they're playing if they're playing a stun deck, they can't clear Jackal, I'm telling you guys. Until eventually until eventually you get enough ways to actually get rid of the anti-spell and order and stuff like that. I tried to big brain him but with Solemn Judgment. Didn't work, but you need to be Solemn Judgment evenly, you get rid of everything else. So that's a game. Absolutely amazing match there. Me versus the champs. Uh, pulling off what I believe is the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh comeback I've ever seen. I was ready to scoop since turn one. When I said anti-spell and no out, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna set this. Let's just, uh, wait till next turn. Uh, I just somehow came back. Uh, the order on secrets, I'm like, there's literally no way I come back from this now. I tried to big brain him and it didn't work out, but it ended up working out anyways because Jackal King is just too big of a monster. This is also how you destroy decks like Trick Stars, which literally cannot clear Jackal King. It's also how you destroy Salamangri. So in order for them to destroy Jackal King, that's a neg big time. There's only so many cards in their extra deck that they could clear a big monster. So if you have a Mighty Master that's protected by a skill or a Jackal King, and your opponent, let's say, eventually uses an anti spell, it's very difficult for Salamangri to clear it, and it's very difficult for other bad decks that cannot put, destroy big monsters. Luna Light cannot clear Jackal King. Even though Luna Light's dead now because they're only good card in their deck. A Pendulum card, by the way, is banned. So, uh, that's the deck, guys. It's amazing. And the deck list is the exact same deck list I use. Shout out to House of Champs. Everyone go subscribe to his YouTube. He, he put up a good fight. But at the end of the day, Pendulum is Pendulum. So, hope you guys like the video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button to both me and House of Champs. Make sure to smash the like button. Check out the beautiful Triff Gaming playmats on TriffGaming.com. Don't forget to sign up for the Triff Gaming membership to learn everything you guys just seen there. I teach how to play pendulums. Very amazing on that membership. All down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next video. Peace.